गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन हैव यू गॉन थ्रू आई टू सी प्रोटोकॉल डिड यू हैव एनी डाउट इन आई टू सी प्रोटोकॉल नो मैम नो डाउट हैव यू गॉन थ्रू द कोड डिड यू अंडरस्टूड द कोड एवरी वन सिस्टम वेर लॉक टेस्ट वेंच आर्किटेक्चर हाउ टू राइट can you develop coverage for i2c protocol whatever i have shared the code uh, can you develop the coverage we discuss the coverage right okay today we'll see the amba protocols okay up to now we have discussed two protocols yot protocol and i2c protocol right uh, so in this session we'll start with the amba protocol in amba we have mainly three types of protocol one is uh, uh, first of all amba means advanced microcontroller bus architecture okay these all are uh, bus communication protocol bus communication in the sense uh, parallel communication protocol like 32 bit uh, 64 bit uh, uh, parallel communication uh, we can do okay so in amba protocol mainly we have series of uh, uh, protocols like uh, high uh, high bandwidth protocol low bandwidth protocol like that first we'll start with a low bandwidth protocol okay which is a performance a low performance protocol and a simple protocol which is used to communicate with the uh, low bandwidth uh, components okay so first one is apb okay in amba mainly we have apb ahb axi okay apb ahb axi okay apb means advanced peripheral peripheral bus protocol advanced high speed protocol and extensible protocol okay so uh, advanced peripheral bus protocol today we'll discuss this one can you tell me anyone have any idea on uh, this apb protocol no okay first introduction to the protocol already we have discussed right uh, what is mean by a protocol protocol means uh, the set of rules uh, uh, based on the set of rules like uh, based on the intra communication or inter system communication or uh, parallel communication serial communication half duplex communication full duplex communication like that we will follow different type of guidelines okay whenever we want to uh, whenever we are transmitting the data from one device to another device we will follow all these things right so that is nothing but the protocol so if you see here protocol or different types on chip protocol and peripheral protocol on chip protocol and peripheral protocol like uh, there are uh, different uh, between uh, uh, like we ha we have seen serial communication protocol what are the communication protocols we have like a low speed communication protocol high speed communication protocol low speed or i2c spi and um, you ought to use at these are low speed high speed or pcie usb and uh, um, ethernet these all are high speed communication protocol whereas bus protocols are all amba protocol but in all amba protocol there is another classification like on chip protocol and a peripheral protocol okay uh, anyone tell me what is the difference between on chip and the peripheral protocol eta beta ekada agade can you tell me anyone what is the difference between on chip and off chip protocol sorry peripheral protocol okay on chip or nothing but it is used to connect the various blocks in the chips okay there will be a one chip or a soc it will connect a various blocks i already you, you already seen the soc architecture right here there will be the soc architecture we will have different ips from the different ips we have connected one interconnect here from the interconnect we have connected with another ips subsystems like this right here we will have one large interconnect what is that interconnect nothing but axi okay axi 
interconnect we can call okay so this is the on chip communication protocol which is used to connect with the different type of agents in the soc level okay in the soc level so every ip on the chip will the communicate with the other ips by using the standard protocol okay this xi is the standard protocol so we can call it as a on chip protocol in the soc level but peripheral protocol means it is a communication between a simple logic like a some logic on the chip to the external agent or a peripheral okay there will be so many agents suppose if you take a memory in the memory if you have some memory modules uh, for every memory modules we will create the agents right so in the uvm you will understand those things so peripheral is nothing but uh, it may be any protocol like a pcie or a dd or a protocol uh, dd or also the bus protocol co uh, parallel communication protocol and apb apb also bus protocol like uh, these all are low bandwidth protocol okay so these are mainly used to connect the some logic on a chip uh, external agent to the some peripheral okay so uh, mainly like a memory modules or peripheral whatever the small bandwidth uh, uh, things are there uh, so those will uh, connect using the peripheral okay so whatever we are discussing now apb protocol that protocol comes under peripheral protocol okay so i think you understood the difference uh, right uh, so if you see on chip protocol which defines the communication of components on the chip uh, so there is no limitation on the port size so it is very fabrication is so advanced technology that uh, nothing but axi axi is very advanced compared to the ahb and apb present whatever the I, uh, soc we are using mainly we will use A axi for uh, component uh, on chip uh, protocol and we will use the pcie for the serial communication okay so that is the on chip protocol and peripheral protocol means uh, which defines the component communication of components outside the chip like within the chip to outside the chip so there is a limited by available area we can we cannot use the too many ports okay there is a limitation it will work for a low bandwidth and only less number of ports are there so like that so apb is the uh, example okay so did you got the clarity up to here what is mean by peripheral protocol and on chip protocol like in serial communication protocol however we have the uh, low uh, low bandwidth protocol like uh, i2c and uh, uot i2c spi uot like that in uh, amba protocols uh, we will have like a peripheral and on chip protocol peripheral in the sense a low communication like a low bandwidth protocol okay and it has a less number of signals okay that is the main difference and next uh, coming to the amba what is mean by amba this is the uh, amba means advanced microcontroller bus architecture okay so it is mainly used to connect the system on chip designs uh, uh, whichever the chip buses are uh, use, used okay so amba is a high level embedded microcontrollers it is used to design for the high level embedded microcontrollers and it provide the technology independence and uh, like a reusable peripheral with minimizing the silicon infrastructure like a very simple infrastructure okay uh, because uh, it works under uh, less frequency means uh, obviously it has a low uh, low number of signals right uh, uh, all the features it cannot uh, work okay only limited number of features it will be work so so for connecting the low uh, device components we will use mainly okay apb so if you see typical amba system how the amba system like amba means ahb apb axi so all the uh, protocol how we can connect one by one if you see here this is the soc architecture if you consider but in real time there will be lot of uh, blocks will be there suppose if you consider this is a soc architecture in soc we will have the high bandwidth uh, memory interface and high performance processor we will will there and on chip ram will be there dma bus control uh, dma is nothing but uh, it is for controlling okay memory uh, so dma bus master 
so how uh, if you see here all these are high performance so high performance in the sense they work under high frequencies and high bandwidth okay if you see right side what are these uh, like yacht yacht is very less uh, speed uh, and um, uh, it is a port right and a timer timer is a module and pio and a keyboard keyboard also a module so these are uh, less bandwidth uh, okay less bandwidth and the communication things so for connecting the high performance things we are using ahp or as by present we don't have the asb in the industries we will use the axi okay so for connecting the high performance things like a graphic processors or a cores okay whatever for connecting the high bandwidth things we are using the axi protocol these are the interconnects these black things are nothing but interconnects okay axi interconnects so every processor suppose in our system if you take the laptop aside we will have some ports right uh, c type port usb port and uh, for uh, disk uh, we will have some ports right every port will be communicated with the processor every port will be communicated with the memory and it will communicate with the ram like uh, each and every component each each one communication will be there right uh, so how they will communicate like uh, suppose this is the core uh, our cpu processor will be there so how can the processor communicate with the yacht whereas processor is the high speed protocol sorry high speed uh, uh, performance uh, high bandwidth it works under high frequencies but uh, yacht works under very low frequency right uh, how can we match with these two means by using the bridge okay in the middle there will be a bridge suppose ahb to yacht so here high performance to low performance means we have to convert ahb or axi to the apb by using the bridge okay bridge will work like a controller here okay so convert a high to low converter or low to high converter okay so uh, like that from the apb we will get the low power signal okay which will be match with the yacht here we will have the internally there will be lot of components here uh, by using the spi or i2c we will communicate internally okay serial communication okay overall amba communication is uh, like this okay in the soc mainly interconnects okay on chip interconnects or the axi and uh, for low communication side uh, for low chip side uh, app we will use mainly okay any doubts up to here anyone no ma'am no, no okay girls have any doubts ma'am what is the purpose of dma bus uh, dma is a just a, that is also a protocol okay that is also one type of uh, memory related bus Okay. Okay. Uh, what is the doubt? How clock will manage in bus? Bus uh, uh, actually in bus or bridge? In bridge, uh, there will be uh, some of the comp, uh, some of the signals will be there. Okay, at uh, uh, AHB side and uh, APB side, uh, we will convert that uh, clock. Okay, there will be two type of clocks from the AHB side and from the APB side. So there will be the controllability using the signals. Okay, I will tell you the APB to AHB conversion also how it will be work at the UVM time. Uh, I will tell you the AHB and APB also how the bridge is used to convert. Okay, so everyone has uh, clarity on this, right? Uh, yeah, bridge is mainly used for synchronization between the AHB and APB. Uh, it will be convert the high to low and low to high. Okay. So this is about uh, the simple AHB and uh, AXI APB. So memory, how it will convert and DMA bus master. DMA is nothing but the memory. Okay, it is a direct memory access. And um, introduction coming to the APB introduction. In this session, we'll discuss on APB protocol. Okay, so APB stands for 
advanced peripheral bus and the apb is the part of amba protocol family and mainly it has the register and the peripherals timers you can go through the theory session i will tell you the main concept thing okay and if you see here optimize for minimal power consumption why it is minimal power consumption because it doesn't have the much complexity much interface complexity it doesn't have much signals okay that's why automatically it have the minimal power okay uh, so if you see axi axi means it will work on a uh, very high speed like uh, it have the complex signals in terms of it is a pipeline signal and there will be bus transfers okay lot of features are there in the axi but in apb we don't have anything just uh, it will work like a uh, transmitter the ma ma master and the slave the transmission in a parallel Okay, but uh, one or two things out there. How to check the error by using the P slave or P protect? Uh, but it is very minimal due to the less complexity. Okay, and APB is a non-pipeline protocol. What is mean by pipeline protocol? Can anyone tell? You already uh, uh, learned in your uh, embedded systems, right? What is mean by pipeline protocol? Pipeline is nothing but a parallel. Hmm. Parallel in the sense like uh, fetching the uh, instruction and executing the instruction and uh, decoding the instruction, uh, fetching, decoding, execution will be done in a parallel manner. Okay, but. But in APB, we don't have that uh, parallel mechanism because it is a non-protocol, non-pipeline protocol. So in AXA, you can see the pipeline protocol. Okay, and in APB, every transfer takes at least uh, two cycles. Uh, two cycles a uh, setup and access. Okay, we'll see that final state mission. Uh, in uh, I to Z, however, we have written the program using the final state mission, right? Like that in APB also, we'll write the program using final state mission. Okay, it is it has a standard final state mission. We'll discuss that thing, and it is a low performance. APB interface has a low perform low bandwidth, nothing but low performance, uh, and it is connected to the system bus via. bridge that helps to reduce the system power consumption and it is very easy to interface and it is a low cost interface to optimize for minimal power consumption and uh, the apb can interface with the ahb or axi by using the bridge okay now we'll see how what are the different signals are there in a APB. Okay, as you see in UART or I to C, there we will have the frame format. For UART we have the frame format. The AXI we have sorry, uh, I to C we have the frame format. But in APB we don't have the frame format. Okay, all the things works in terms of final state mission, and there are standard uh, uh, waveforms out there. So we'll discuss those things. Okay, this is the main specification. So every protocol has different specification. You need to understand every specification accordingly. Okay, so in APB, what are the signals we have mainly? If you see here, the block diagram. Okay, see. Uh, this is the system bus slave interface. This is the APB bridge we have. System bus slave interface means uh, before we have one uh, one component will be there before right uh, so that will be connected to this master suppose here we have some processor or anything any controller uh, uh, com component so this will be the slave right uh, so this slave will be connected to the next master so this is the system bus slave interface and this is the read data from this uh, slave we are reading the data and sending to the master and reset signal. clock signal you know what is mean by that and select lines uh, these are the select one select two select three or the selection lines for the slave and strobe signal this is for p enable enable means uh, once the uh, signal is enabled then only we can enable we can able to transmit the data okay and address you know the address what is mean by that and p write p write is nothing but controller signal okay either write operation or read operation like that and p write data we are writing the data into the slave 
okay these are the signals we will have at the master side and at the slave side what are the signals out there see uh, the, these are the signals coming from the previous master right and the slave is giving the data as a read data okay slave is giving the data as a read data and it also give the p slaver signal p protect signal from for the master to its master okay so this is the apb master and apb slave okay did you understood so there is a single bus master on the apb and thus there is no need of arbitration when we need the arbitration as we discussed in the i2c when there are multiple number of masters then a arbitration concept is needed to select any one of the master but here in apb we will have only one master by using one master based on the slave number of slaves we can use the uh, selection line to select the slave okay the master drives the address and write buses and also performs the combinational uh, decode of the address to the decide p, sel p select signal okay nothing but the slave signal and it is also responsible for driving the enable signal okay and it drives the apb uh, to the retransfer system bus during a retransfer so same thing whatever i have told you uh, uh, actually from the master we have to send the send to the slave so this is the master this actual bridge is the master for this master previous slave data is getting and we are sending all these signals to the particular slave okay uh, those are this is the master and this is the slave okay did you understood the master and slave if you want to go in detail of uh, each uh, like each signal explanation you can read these things okay i i told directly what is what uh, you can read these things you know what is mean by clock reset address uh, total 32 bit address uh, uh, 32 bit address it will be used and p protect a pre protect is nothing but a, a protection type okay it is used to protect the data like uh, the signal uh, we can protect in a normal manner privileged uh, secure uh, level and uh, these are the protection levels okay for transmitting the data uh, when the transaction is in a data access or in an instruction access we can send the data in a normal way privileged way secure way okay so these options can be selected by using the protect next select select is nothing but as i told that uh, the slave device uh, it will be used to select okay uh, for each uh, slave we can select and uh, p enable enable signal you already know write uh, either uh, read or write uh, and write data and strobe what is mean by strobe here here we will have the write strobes okay so what it is telling here this signal indicates which byte lines to update during a write transfer okay so there will be a write transfer bytes 32 bit 32 bit means total 4 bytes are there right so there will be one write strobe for each 8 bits of the write data bus so they, based on that uh, the write data bus will be correspond to the uh, particular uh, byte and it will the strobe will activate the uh, particular uh, byte and it will transfer the to the slave that is the read transfer that is the main write strobes nothing but uh, uh, selecting the each byte whatever the byte it want to send next p ready p ready in the sense uh, suppose uh, when there are uh, some transfers out there okay suppose uh, uh, this is the write transfer write is sending some data okay re, uh, re, it should whatever the write data uh, is sending by the master the uh, slave have to read the same data right in sometimes a slave is not ready to read the data okay slave may be in some other operation or slave is uh, read signal is not uh, uh, enable okay in sometimes a slave is not ready to accept the data okay maybe it is in some other operations in that case uh, the ready signal will work okay so it will tell like a ready signal will tell a uh, slave is not uh, ready to accept the data wait for some time okay once ready signal is high slave is ready to accept the data the master can send the data to the slave like that okay 
Next, P or data. Uh, read data. You already know what is meant by read data. And P slave error. P slave error is nothing but uh, in the uh, AMBA, like um, in your protocol, we have seen the parity bit, right? Uh, forgetting if any error get. Uh, uh, in I2C, we have seen acknowledgement. If any error get, acknowledgement signal will be sent, acknowledgement bit. Uh, like that here, P slave error. So if any uh, error getting in the transmission, any transfer failures or the uh, the piece level will be activated. Okay, so mainly these are the uh, uh, different uh, signals we have in the APP. Okay, if any interview questions uh, you get, uh, can you explain the APP means? Mainly you need to explain these things okay what are the master signals and what are the slave signals waveforms are very important okay you need to write the final state mission and you need to explain the waveform that is the good explanation of app protocol okay so this is the p protect and the p strobe signal i told that p protect is used for mainly protection purpose okay both for non-secure and secure transactions so uh, the pre protect in the three bit size so these are the protection level suppose if uh, zero bit is uh, one means privileged access zero means normal access that is the protection level if first bit is one means non-secure access zero means secure access second bit one bit one means instruction access zero means data access okay so these things we normally won't use Okay, in industries only they will use all the things. At student level, uh, all these things are not needed because uh, we are not uh, doing actual SOC things, right? Uh, if we do actual SOC things uh, uh, based on your blocks, uh, suppose when you are connecting with your processor to a small block, uh, based on that, uh, you need to use all these things, uh, protection levels and all. But whatever we are doing now, all the things are not needed. Just conceptual wise, we need to know when you are going to the industry, if any, uh, like uh, there, if uh, any specification we got, like any chance to, uh, we got to use these things, uh, then we can use, okay? Next, uh, P strobe. Uh, strobe signal is uh, enabled to the data, right? Uh, transferring bus data. So this is the master and slave. So this is the overall master slave communication, APB master and slave communication. This is the overall block diagram. Okay. So this is how the APB will work the master side and slave side. So system, uh, some other slave will be connected to here, read data, reset clock. And here uh, P select based on the P select, we will select the any one of the slave. Okay. Address we are sending to the slave, read or write write data from the pace uh, slave uh, we are sending ready ready means what uh, slave is telling uh, whether it is uh, ready to take the data or not if it is ready to accept the data it will send the ready signal as a high then master will send this uh, particular data to the slave okay and slave error slave is sending to the master uh, that means it received the correct data or not like acknowledgement and not acknowledgement okay and slave output is only read data this side these also outputs but these all sending to the same master and this will be sent to the some other master okay did you understood overall APB APB is very easy but AHB and AXA is somewhat uh, complex APB you can learn in just two days Have any doubts up to now? No doubts? Excuse me, like uh, bandwidth, the, the, what is the frequency of operation? Uh, bandwidth, huh? uh, in terms of, uh, it will be in terms of uh, megabytes only not uh, in uh, gigabytes i need to check exact uh, bandwidth of apb i also not remember okay apb bandwidth uh, i will check 32 bit wide there uh, means it will be under uh, megabytes only okay 100 uh, megahertz uh, frequency it will be okay 
okay 100 to 200 megahertz frequency maximum in that range only okay, okay. and uh, operating states uh, what are the operating states this is the main finest state mission now uh, we need to know in the apb okay so if you see uh, in the finest state mission we mainly have only uh, three states okay one is uh, ideal state setup state access data you have seen before right uh, to get any one uh, data like uh, it will take two states uh, so uh, in the ideal state uh, what is the ideal state uh, p select signal is a zero and enable signal is a zero in ideal state there will be no transfers okay from the ideal state it is going to the setup state in the setup state or, or p select is a one enable signal is a zero okay in access state p select is one enable is one once enable is high p selection is high then only we can write the data we can transmit the data to the uh, write transfer to the read transfer okay suppose uh, p ready is high so you can uh, do the transfer if p ready is not high again it need to wait it need to wait in the same state here p ready is zero so p ready is uh, one but no transfer that mean all transfer is completed 32 bit transfer is completed then you need to go for uh, pre pre ideal state okay so this is the actual final state mission this is a standard final state mission we cannot change uh, as a design engineer uh, design engineer cannot modify anything okay this is the standard final state mission we have mainly you need to remember in ideal state all of initializing with a zero in setup state uh, is the only the selection line is uh, one then in access state both the selection line and enable one when both are high we can uh, ready to transmit the data okay here we have mainly the waveforms you can go through the uh, theory part whatever i just explain now same thing access state uh, same thing and here we need to see mainly uh, these waveforms the apb means mainly uh, apb or hp axi all are uh, mainly through waveforms we need to understand also we need to write the program through the waveforms okay so if you see here how we can write the write transfer with no wait state with no wait state means we no need to wait for a p ready signal okay so how can we write the data into the uh, write transfer if you see this is the clock okay so initially what is the clock here this is the ideal state this is the setup state and this is the access state okay so in ideal state uh, what is the p select is zero p enable is zero right uh, and then uh, in setup state p and p select is high p enable is zero in access state both are high when both are high, uh, write data. We are writing the data here. From here. Okay, writing the data from here only. But reading the data, we need to check read data. Okay, so here P ready signal is high. Whenever P ready signal is high, we'll get the read data. Okay, but here write operation is high, right? Uh, so write operation is high means we are just writing the data to the slave okay so this is the right transfer without no wait state here p ready is automatically high we are not waiting for the p ready to be high okay if you go for right state right transfer with wait state suppose what is the difference with wait state and with no wait state this is the setup in setup sorry ideal both are zero in setup high zero one one access state so access state here both are high enable is high and the se selection also high when both are high we can directly send the write data and read data also can be accepted but here re uh, p ready is not high p ready is zero okay p ready is zero means what it is mean by means the 
slave is not ready to receive the slave may be in other transfer suppose here uh, master here one master is writing to the slave it want to write the data to the slave maybe th this slave is writing to another master slave will be connected to some other different ips right uh, uh, some other blocks maybe this slave is uh, uh, doing the operation with some other uh, masters okay it is not ready to take it is not ready to accept the data from this master okay in that case uh, it uh, it is in a p ready state uh, that means zero once p ready state high means the slave is ready to accept the data okay so here p ready slave uh, p ready is high then it will get the read data okay so this is the mainly the difference between write transfer with wait state and with no wait state did you understood everyone have any doubts up to here have any doubts okay so this is the theory part you can go through the theory part and retransfer retransfer with no wait state and with wait state we have to check okay see here um suppose this is the uh, reset uh, like uh, initial state so p select is uh, zero uh, not p select the okay p enable is uh, zero and here also p enable is zero and here p enable is high p select is high okay so uh, here write is low write is low means retransfer before if you see write is high that means write transfer here write is low means uh, uh, retransfer uh, here from here only at this point only uh, here write data got the data write is doing the write operation right from this cycle only but uh, is this uh, slave is ready to accept no here enable is high at this point and also ready is high at this point even if you get the data from here also slave is not ready to accept so data will be taken at this cycle third cycle okay can you please join for the next session quickly okay this is the retransfer with the no wait state okay so we are not uh, waiting the state for the uh, ready to uh, ready signal to be high automatically ready signal is high but uh, e e enable signal also should be high right even ready signal is high at this point uh, uh, it won't uh, read the data because enable signal is not uh, high right uh, so that is the main difference uh, so have you understood everyone right transfer with no wait state okay next right transfer with the wait state right transfer with wait state means uh, simple here uh, re, uh, p ready is not high that means slave is another in another transfer okay so our master is in another transfer which is uh, uh, ready to read so here uh, slave uh, p ready is zero once p ready is high then only it is reading the data even it got the data from here it is not uh, able to read the data uh, the enable should be make high and also ready should be high then only it can be read the data with the wait states okay so this is the apb protocol very simple okay you if possible try to write the program uh, just uh, we have write uh, written for write to see right uh, using final state mission like that uh, you take only three states uh, ideal state uh, setup state and uh, access state what happens in ideal state uh, like that uh, here read operator done by master or slave read operation will done by slave only why i told master means uh, maybe slave is in transfer with some other master suppose uh, here master 
slave again read operation is nothing but uh, slave have to read the data and store into it uh, uh, states in into its location right uh, maybe if uh, the slave is in some other operation means suppose if it is uh, writing to this master or some other master means automatically it should uh, wait for the ready signal right uh, if slave is uh, ready then only it can read the data and uh, store into the particular location okay that's why i told here uh, whether master or uh, slave it is in the process like uh, there are busy busy state we can tell okay next uh, failing right transfer suppose failing right transfer means uh, uh, maybe whatever we are sending the right data may not uh, transfer correctly okay so here what are the states we have in design try to write the program uh, generate the clock like this generate the address and uh, based on the final state mission same loop uh, you need to create the loop 0 0 1 0 1 1 okay like this so write data uh, writing the data here write is high write is high means uh, writing write operation so p ready is uh, low here it is not accepting the data and at this cycle fourth cycle it is accepting the data but we got p slave error as a high why we got p slave error as a high means it is a not acknowledgement it, the data is not receiving properly okay so that's why it is a high so that when it is high what we need to do we need to check where we did the error okay why it is not transmitting properly so the design engineers again have to correct the design code okay and here if you see with the p slave error reading the data this is a retransfer so retransfer uh, can also complete with an error response right once uh, the right side we got error response means automatically at read side also we'll get the error response so it is indicating there is no valid read data available okay so a read transfer completing with an error response it is getting the error response okay so it is showing that error response by using the p slave error signal okay at this point the p ready is high that means it is ready to read the data after reading the re data p slave is high that means it, it is uh, receiving some error so that uh, so this is the right right followed by read whatever we have seen uh, previously uh, based on the right address once right address send means uh, see here uh, r and w that means write and read operation here write means uh, it is taking zero i think so so writing the data in zero means and once it is high means reading the data not only we need to check not only this we need to check this also okay if you see observe reading the data is getting at this cycle only but is it reading the data no it always check for ready signal ready signal is uh, uh, high at this particular point so here only the read data will read slave will read the data so if you get any error we get the error response okay simple very simple apb okay try to write the program so tomorrow we'll discuss the program okay maybe if i give some time will you write the program or i need to tell the program So these are what are the advantages, what are the disadvantages, just go through this. You will try the program. Huh? Okay, just try the program. Uh, if you want to try means tomorrow I won't take the session. One day we'll discuss the program. So, okay, on Sunday we'll start the UVM. On Sunday I will take the UVM demo session. So write the program for APB. Okay, if you don't, if you can't write uh, next week, uh, next weekend we'll discuss. Okay, any doubts up to now? Any doubts? No doubts? Okay, then thank you.
Excuse me. Practice. Yeah. Tell. Like, uh, do we need to learn anything related to quantum computing? Quantum computing? Quantum. No, no. That is very advanced thing, sir. No need now. Okay. Like, uh, like in future, do we need to learn uh, in media industry? What? What? Maybe in future. In future, do we need to learn this? Quantum no, computing. Not needed. Now, as of now, not needed. That is next for 20 years. That is not needed for now. If you are Thank interested, you. you can spend time, but uh, you spend time on these things, uh, system wedlock and UVM mainly. When you are uh, boring with these, uh, then you can uh, get uh, the quantum information. Why we are going to quantum? What is the technology behind that? How we are storing the data? What are the different quantum mechanics uh, or their uh, the properties? Uh, you can go through that uh, when you are in bore. But uh, don't spend particularly for that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Mainly, you need to learn system where log coding very good. UVM conceptual wise very good. Okay, then you will get a very good job in uh, industries. That is the main thing. And you need to concentrate uh, projects, protocols. If you have very good projects, uh, then will that will be very uh, plus point. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any doubts? Others? Okay, thanks.